hey, I haven't been here for a hot minute, but I wanted to come back because I think there is an important topic to discuss. One of my most watched videos or one of my most commented on videos is a video on fear of aging. When I taped that video two years ago, I think it was two years ago, I never imagined that people in their teens, 20s, and even 30s were going to be the ones telling me that they are or you are scared of getting older, that you are consumed with thoughts of death and how you might um, not be loved when you're older, how you might not be successful in, in the industry or the industry that you picked to work in, how, uh, my goodness, so many fears that I have read about that they really floored me. Um, to all of you who are younger, I don't dismiss that because I feel there are too many older people already saying, oh, you're young, you know, you shouldn't be worried about that, but everything is relative. And I remember when I was 25 and I had my only, um, you know, like, oh my goodness, I'm getting old moment. And it, it, it lasted like a couple of months. Um, I was also depressed, clinically depressed, not just a little bit down or what have you. And this idea of being 25, it felt like I was a quarter of a century, that I was somehow like on a ledge of falling into old age, what have you. I went to therapy, I resolved it. And well, I, not resolved it, but I kind of dealt with it and moved on. And so another time that I was very afraid of dying and of, you know, getting older was when I was seven. I would wake up in the middle of the night and cry my eyes out and have this really horrible anguish because I started counting that in the year 2000, which was 20 years ago, I would be 37. And I thought that was super old. And at 37, I had my first baby. So I, looking back, of course, that seems like absolutely nothing. I'm 57 now. And I also thought that my elders would be dead by the year 2000. And then my abuelita, my grandmother, lived on to turn 102 almost. And she passed two years ago. So what can I tell you is I got a, a really heart-rending um, DM the other day. Well, actually, I'm, I'm, you know, I get a few. And this one was from a teen, I'm thinking, because she won't tell me how old she is. But another, she's, she's just very paralyzed, you know, with fear of, of getting older. And then there was this other woman in her 20s telling me that her elders aren't helping very much because they keep telling her, enjoy your youth, don't get old. Um, then we have the younger people who have older people in their families covering their faces because they don't want to be in pictures and they are ashamed of their aging bodies and faces, what have you. And then there are the older people that um, feel that they're too old to do this or to do that. So I'm gonna tell you a few things um, that might or might not resonate with you and that might change as I get older, but right now at 57, first of all, I invite you to come see me on Instagram, which is where I post every day. And my Instagram handle is Lorraine C. Laddish, just like my name on this YouTube channel. And I post everything about, you know, how I learned to hold a freestanding handstand at 57 and, you know, how I, I move my body absolutely every day. I have hopes and dreams. I have teen uh, daughters and one of them is, you know, adventuring the world and I am telling her to live her best life. And, you know, it's, it's as long as one has hopes and dreams, you know, life, life can be crappy sometimes. Um, I've been through clinical depression many times. I overcame a 20 uh, year long eating disorder. I have another 20 years of recovery under my belt. Enjoy youth, yes, but do know that you are pretty much in control, barring illness, accidents, and a lot of things that we can control of how you enter each decade. So if 
if you have plans and goals and dreams and even if you're lost and you don't know what you're doing but you try new things and you keep moving and maybe you have a heartbreak and you have a loss we all experience that I was a mom on food stamps at 45 single with two little kids and then I met the love of my life at 46 and I'm 57 and we're celebrating soon 11 years together who would have told me that I don't think I've even peaked yet and to the people who say um, you know I'm afraid of death well we're all going to die so what I'm realizing now after I took a 500 hour yoga teacher training course in my 50s and studied um, Hindu philosophy and yoga philosophy which um, you don't necessarily have to agree with everything but it does talk a lot about enjoying the now we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow we don't know if, I don't know if there's a next night or what have you but making friends with now um, with gratitude establishing connections with other people we're living in a very strange world right now and um, as somebody who has suffered and still deals with anxiety high levels of it and manages it with medication and meditation and yoga etc I know it's not easy but it is possible so please go online and follow older people and older people could be five years older than you it could be 10 years older than you it could be 50 years older than you but follow the people who are not complaining because people who complain at 20 will complain at 80 and will complain at 50 and all that um, people who are resilient will be resilient in their 20s and their 30s in their 50s and their 80s and up until the time of death so I'm just here to tell you that I am such a happier, more well-rounded, more compassionate, self-assured person than I ever was when I was younger. I don't think that has to be the same way for everybody. I feel that you can lead a fabulous uh, youth. My 19-year-old is proof that um, you don't have to go through a horrible 19-year um, 19 year old year as I did but the point being is um, that you have control you have control over exercising every day you have control over uh, consuming or not consuming drugs that are gonna mess up your head and your body you have control over what news you can uh, consume um, what you practice daily the people you surround yourself with the people you follow online and um, yeah just it is possible to be I can just speak for 57 because this is how old I am now and there will be older people who will say yeah yeah you just wait till you get to your 70s well you know what I know a lot of women in their 70s and men who are wildly um, joyful and happy and on purpose and all this and you know that that and 80 year olds and 90 year olds and uh, I feel that if you really focus on who you are inside as a person and again surround yourself with people and just block out like uh, completely block out if you are able to the ones who tell you that aging sucks um, because a lot of in life sucks but we still deal with it block them out and pick and choose the older people who like me can tell you that it does not have to suck getting older I hope this helps find me on Instagram and like this post if you like it share it with your friends share your doubts your concerns I'm here for them I think youth needs to be heard because um, I don't know we just assume that 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 you're a certain way and we were young once so I feel that you need all the help you can get just like I wish I had had all the help I could get when I was younger so anyway thanks for being here <laughs>